Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about this ballast box that I made. It has a thousand pounds, all steel construction. Um, won't be going over actually, well, I won't have videos of actually fabricating it, but I'll put in the photos and kind of describe how I did it. But steel is about 500 pounds per cubic foot. So this is a two foot by one foot by one foot gives us two cubic feet. Uh, the box is 3 8 steel and inside are some big giant pieces of uh, steel chunks to get the weight. Added some clevis hooks on the outside here, loaded those on, and then some chain hooks. Incorporated a hitch receiver. The actual main body there is hitch receiver tube. Come back here to the side. Um, along with that there, square box tube kind of incorporates the three point then welded into the box. On top here is a little place to hold chain and tools and actually works pretty good. I can be bumping along and it does not fall out. Uh, then we have these kickstands, the black things. So we want to unhook it. We can set it down on those. The only regret I may uh, have on it is I didn't make those heavy enough. Um, they hold it fine, but when you're trying to fiddle around and get the three point hooked up and stuff, you can't really uh, put too much force on them or else they, they tweak a little bit. So, and for all your keyboard welders out there, I used dual shield 1 16th uh, MIG on this. So I don't want to hear about how it's not penetrating, it's going to crack out. You guys don't really know what you're talking about. So to build the box, we start out with cutting out some plates out of 3 8 steel, uh, tacked it all up and made sure it's all squared, then fully welded all the seams on that. Once the box is complete, then I started on the pins for the three-point fixture. I machined down these inserts that would fit inside box tube so that the pins would fully engage uh, the three-point. I had a problem on a previous ballast that I had made that wasn't strong enough, and so you really start uh, using the hitch on it or pulling with it, it started bending stuff. So this way, I had the most strength in the three-point. Here you see that I cut some notches in the box tube. That way I get full length welds, good penetration, so it was all fused together. So next here we have the three point base which is made out of box tube, and then I went ahead and welded it to the box. Had multiple attachment points, uh, had a little bit of angle iron in there, uh, you can't really see, but went ahead and made sure that was attached in, in good mount there. Then here you can see the, the what I call the kickstands, uh, some thinner wall box tube. Uh, if I did this again, I'd definitely bump that up to the square, the quarter inch wall hitch receiver tube, just for the added strength. And here's kind of an example of the material that I put in it, the big chunks of steel. This one here is about four inches thick, and I had to cut that with an oxyacetylene torch and did not have the correct size tip so it took a little while but I got it done and then these chunks of steels were ricked in there kind of like Tetris and then uh, tacked welded in there so some decent one inch speeds in along there so the stuff didn't move around and kind of add rigidity through the whole thing as it tied the box together. At this point here I added the top tray uh, this allows me to put tools and chains and all sorts of other things. I also weld this chain on top there for lifting it if I need to move it around with the front of the tractor or something like that. Also have the chain hooks on the back and then I made the clevis points on there out of I think like some three quarter inch steel. There's also clevises that I use on this and both the clevises and the chain hooks I bought from Amazon so I'll go ahead and put the the link in the description. So the paint I used is a Rust-Oleum of farm equipment, a Kubota orange enamel. And if I may not use this, if I was actually touching up paint on the tractor for the price difference, I'd actually go buy Kubota paint if I was doing that. But for implements to get actually to match pretty close to the tractor, uh, it's cheaper than the Kubota brand paint. So I would recommend it uh, if you want to paint something to look close to what your tractor is. And any other thing that really it's a nice bright orange paint. So I'm pretty happy with the results here. It kind of looks like a professional job. So the reason I, I built my own here 
it's because one I was able to get the metal for nothing so if you paid to buy the metal and all that stuff it would not be cheap but I wanted a nice compact uh, ballast box to go with my tractor here and it definitely helps a lot when doing the grapple or doing anything on the front having these uh, clevises on the side there definitely work pretty nice I can hook up my my choker to it and pull out logs and having the extra way on the back gives you better traction so yeah it's pretty pretty nice setup uh, a lot smaller than doing concrete and everything like that and a lot stronger and then the, the trailer hitch part's pretty nice. I can go back up to a trailer or anything and tow it out, move it, and then having it on the three points, nice. You can adjust it up and down for your height. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit the thumbs up and uh, give me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. Also, subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you know when I'm posting more videos. There'll be some more coming along uh, like this. I uh, have a few other attachments and stuff I'm making for the tractor. One of them you saw in the photos there are the forklift forks on the front. Uh, those are kind of a cool uh, custom manufactured thing there. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. See you guys later. Bye.